Wait, I love this. It's an $8 mini jug. We are back in Texas after a much needed break to LA, did a room makeover, went flea market shopping, just did some really fun stuff, but I'm excited to be back, getting back into the swing of things, working on the cottage. We've actually been back for a few days and we've been working on cleaning up the house and the property to get ready for my contractor and other people to start working on Monday. So excited. So while we wait for the contractors to start, I thought it was a good idea to take a trip to look and shop for larger scale furniture. Cause if I'm remembering correctly, this could take weeks, if not months, to happen if I want something custom or a specific fabric. So we are headed into Austin, Texas, which really isn't that far from us, to hit all of the places that I've been researching as the best places to shop for furniture, new, more contemporary, or more traditional, or of course, vintage. We are 100% going to bring our masks and abide by all of the safety precautions that each of the stores have. A lot of them are appointment only, so we're gonna be shopping on our own, and we are 100% vaccinated. So let's see what we can find and wrap our heads around what types of furniture we are gonna be putting in the cottage. So to make our shopping adventure really efficient today, I did similar to what we do when we go thrift shopping, when we wanna hit a lot of places and we want them all to be in order so we're not driving around town back and forth. So I use Google Maps, I plugged in all of the addresses and then when I swipe down, I can see the full map of everywhere we're gonna go. So we just hit boom, 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 and we do them all in a few hours. So first up is back home furniture and it says French inspired living and a great source for traditional European style furniture. Comfortable? Yeah. Special order only 7,029. Oh, for these. Magnet? Yeah, so it's a magnet on each side so that you can put like a piece of art in between like that. How pretty the lighting is. The lamps almost look like concrete. They're oh, pretty. Like this one's really cool. Like the darker shade. Reclaimed oak dining table. What the legs look like. Oh, this is pretty. Look how pretty the legs are. Look at this one. Wait, I love this. Glass and metal pendant. <gasps> I'm obsessed with that. Two of these over our island. Or those. Put the white handle. My mom would die in here. Mom, I know you're jealous. You did it. Go! Like a gray paper. What? Obsessed. Wait, I love this store. Oh, these are the ones that I got. I love these. I got these um, for the kitchen, future kitchen. They come in these two patterns. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. Is this a joke? Oh my gosh. You guys. This one's much more, but stunning. I mean, it's a little too fancy for what I want to go with because it has this like beading here too, but it's gorgeous. Bird cage chandelier globe grande, 1029. They have so many great lamps. I like this shape better. This one looks like a little bit of a hot air balloon shape. Like when I look at the Rose Bowl flea market, these are actually the ones that I see a lot. Obviously they're all different all the time. Yeah, I just wish that this was like metal instead of these. Oh, wow, what a good first place to be at. There were so many things that I can see us incorporating and mixing with, you know, other vintage items. Really pretty store. So I'm very excited about today. Next up is Uncommon Objects. Now this is, we're going more vintage for this one. This one says a one of a kind emporium for transcendent junk. The odd, the gorgeous, the compelling, and the uncanny. I have no idea what that means, but I'm excited to find out. What is this? Look at 
Look at this. What? <laughs> What's that? It's an $8 mini jug. Oh, look at these books. I love them. These are so cool. There's so much from like different cultures from like around the world. They have them kind of categorized. Um, kind of grouped together in like a color palette. It's very cool. The problem is, is I could buy like a lot of stuff, <laughs> but the prices are a little more like um, not thrift store prices, slightly higher. So you have to really know and want what you find. I love this little cabinet table with drawer 220 though, but it's pretty. I love the turned legs on it. It was really cool, but obviously mostly smaller, like little specialty items. They had tons of vintage books. You know, it was speaking to all of my, my loves when I go thrift shopping and vintage shopping, what I like to buy, but that is not the mission today. The mission today is furniture. So now we are at Four Hands Home and it looks luxury it looks fancy from the outside it says offers a wide selection of pieces and styles from all over the world so rustic reclaimed traditional mid-century contemporary and more comfy oh. <laughs> that's nice huh yeah. but this one would lose its shape like really fast so sit in the same spot all the time <laughs> exactly a little more contemporary oh wow look at that green one I love tufted furniture like this, but will it go out of style? Ooh, it swivels. What I've seen so far, it is it is more contemporary, and I do want to bring some more contemporary pieces into the cottage, but overall, the majority of the decor. Do I say decor weird? Decor? Decor. Decor? What do I say? Decor. Decor or decor? Whatever. <laughs> I, just, it came out weird that time, I don't know why. I want the majority of the pieces in the cottage to be vintage or to have a very like cottage look and feel. Um, since our style of our home is very like folk Victorian, it does have a tinge of Victorian influence, which is all of the vintage stuff that I love, but some pieces here and there to be a little more contemporary. That's a really pretty color velvet, like really stunning. Look at this couch. Wow. A brushed ebony, $23.99. You're the official tester. No. No? <laughs> no way. Oh, I like this color couch. Uh. No. I mean, it's like firmer. It's like comfortable, but a little bit firm. It's not the right style. It's kind of eggy. Like it's very rounded. Plush tone linen. Is that comfortable? Really? Oh. Leather always looks better when it's worn. Oh, but actually, I have it. I wouldn't it. It's a little contemporary, yeah. It doesn't look like me. It doesn't look vintage. No, it looks more new. If that's actually a pretty couch right there. Oh, absolutely not. I think it's outdoors. This kind of looks like a restoration hardware duplicate. These pendants are really pretty. They have like the gold and black and then the textured glass, which is really pretty. So that place did have beautiful furniture, but it is very contemporary. I feel like our LA home is a very good balance of having some more contemporary pieces, some more new pieces, but when it's mixed with vintage and it's mixed with, you know, found items that are really unique, it kind of dulls down the fact that it's so contemporary or it's so new. Um, so I think that there are good pieces in there. I didn't see anything that I absolutely loved Loved, but it was really pretty next up is actually an antique store a fairly large one I think it's called wit Hanks antiques definitely know that we want to incorporate um, more you know vintage style furniture and vintage pieces from the early like 1900s when the house was <laughs> that's, probably, that's my wish list it might be way out of budget but I mean oh, look at this gallery wall you guys 
I would love to put some lighting above my mom's art. Look at the lighting. Oh, look at that mirror. I feel more at home here. <laughs> pretty I love this. Look at pretty Maison style vintage coffee table. 1940. That would be really pretty for my mom. In my mom's house. French antique game table, 1780. So obviously the antiques are beautiful, but it would have to be the perfect piece for the perfect place because I would obviously restore something antique that needed to be brought back to life to its original state, but I wouldn't alter an antique. So if it's in the wrong, you know, wood tone and it, you know, if it's just not overall the right style, I would, it just wouldn't work. And it's. You have to invest in an antique piece. So next up is the Renner Project Home Studio Retail and it's 20th century modern vintage and antique pieces curated in a series of roomscapes. So they have binders and tear sheets of all of the pieces and the information that they know about each piece, like where it's from, and they specialize between 1930s and 70s furniture. Look at this, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, wait, I love that. Those columns. I'm gonna start my weekend out right. Gonna live it up in my definitely more unique pieces, like for sure. Look at this. That's so cool. It's different. Look how different this coffee table is. Isn't it cool? She said there's a warehouse down here. Ooh. With just kind of like a mix of all different stuff. Fun style black and cane rocker. Mm, this is pretty. You know, my mom told me to come look at for frames. Do you think she would want one that big? <laughs> you know, visiting all of these more unique shops that have more vintage style items is definitely solidifying that I do want the majority of what we have to be. Um, really special like especially like side tables and the coffee table just to be incredibly unique and vintage which is going to take a while which is why we need to do a lot of shopping trips that is definitely going to be a great place to find i think i'm seeing like some accent chairs found there as she actually said the owner her sister is in europe right now bringing back tons she's had a great trip so she's bringing back tons of furniture so i'm excited to keep checking with them and seeing she has everything online too so i'm going to keep checking back and seeing if there's anything that um, it's just like next up is room service vintage we're actually in an area that has a lot of like vintage type stores it looks a little the area looks a little hipster um, it says some of the best most unique and sometimes most outrageous furniture and home decor items around but they specialize in 1950s to 1970s furniture so let's see Good lord, 1950, 2950, no way. Definitely exactly what they said, 50 to 50s to 70s type furniture. And I know that that's popular right now. A lot of people are into the 70s vibe. I happen to not be, it wasn't exactly <laughs> my thing. Um, I want like older, and then contemporary so I'm a little bit different not really my favorite uh, that we've that's my least favorite one that we've been to today so the next one is actually the outlet version of the four hands home that we went to already um, that had more of the contemporary stuff so I'm assuming it's gonna be more contemporary um, just with some of their maybe older or discounted items 40% off of their lowest marked price right now through uh, the fifth we have like a lot of bookshelves and couches maybe these are like floor samples and floor models that they had and now they're selling off they have a lot of coffee tables i mean their deals are kind of good like it was 22.95 and then marked down to 1100 now it's 500 i swear this exact same i'm gonna find this online you guys because this exact same desk i've seen 40 percent off of 600 we'll look at it online
Okay, wait, I had this realization when I was walking through that outlet and I kind of felt like it when I was at the forehands, um, the actual store, not the outlet, is it's the same furniture that I've seen somewhere else and I couldn't wrap my head around it. I'm gonna find it tonight, I'm gonna put it on the screen. Obviously this one's at an outlet, which is kind of a hit or miss, hard to come by. It would be 40% off of $600. So that's a huge saving. So next up is Louis Shanks. I don't know if Louis Shanks is everywhere, but I'm from coming from Texas like I know that there is one in, a big one in Houston I believe like we, that I've been to before and there's one here in Austin and it's three stories the layout okay. uh, it's 2.3 acres of furniture the second floor is the most popular floor that's transitional and contemporary okay. and the more traditional heavier pieces are on the third floor this is so ugly <laughs> like this even though it's new and quite expensive I don't like it is that weird i just don't think that it has depth and value and it doesn't have unique now i've just stepped in so it just doesn't have a feeling or a soul and i know that's so weird to talk about furniture and pieces of decor having a soul but i feel like it does you know so we're really looking at like larger scale items i wish the style was more like their building look how beautiful this is i love the staircase i love all of this look how beautiful this place is huge is it speaking to you no it's not speaking to me it's just like it's like so um what do they vanilla? say vanilla right that's a great word for it yes look at these stairs these stairs are epic what I also realized kind of stepping out of the store, it's also the environment. You know, I ha we have to look past how something is staged in the store and how something looks with all of the other newer pieces. Like if I was to take this particular couch out of this, what would it look like paired with other things? So next up is Arhas, and I am familiar with this company. I love their mix of like organic and contemporary with a little bit of a classic kind of shape and style. So I'm excited to see what kind of furniture they have. These are so pretty. This is kind of like a restoration hardware duplicate too. Their fabrics are also like crazy, like Krypton fabrics. They're like spill proof and, well, some of them. Feel upholstered left arm five piece. Whew, 10,000, hello. It's on sale. <laughs> and these are the different grades of their fabrics. So much customization that you can do for all of their furniture. This is a pretty color. It's like a green. Oh wow, how organic. This is the restoration hardware dupe. You can tell how relaxed it looks. Can you remove the cushions to clean? Yes, you can. This is called the Tahoe. Slip covered Tahoe five piece sectional. Cheaper than the other one. Available in over 500 fabrics and 120 leathers. That's crazy. These are really pretty, but they're a little bit more industrial. Um, it's really called industrial cloche in it. I love this gray-green corduroy. It's more green than our last couch. Also comes in just like our last couch. This is also very comfortable. All of their couches are really comfortable. Into green marble. Okay, you see this couch? I feel like this looks like the cottage. This little bit of tufted. It's comfortable, but more structured. This is like similar. It has those little beads here of the ones I saw at the other place, the first place we went to. These are, oh, my mom would like these. See, I love this desk. Look how beautiful this is. It's new, but it looks older. Love it. 30 weeks nice. for stuff like this, 34 for leather. If we customize. It would depend on the pieces too. That yeah, we do, yeah, we would have to figure that out. I feel like this, for some reason, looks like it's got a little bit of a 
mid-century vibe on the bottom, but I do like something like tufted, like where I like the structure. I don't think it's comfy enough and comfortable enough, but it does look more cottagey. Okay, wow, this is a beautiful little chest. Like, I love all the detailing. Ooh, it's got a pretty price tag too. So it was like night and day going from Louis Shanks to Arhas. It's just, maybe it's just more contemporary or more now um, versus more traditional. She said 30 weeks for that kind of fabric or 34 weeks for leather if we have to special order it. So that's why it's, we really needed to start looking now. So we hope you guys enjoyed coming and shopping with us. She said 30 weeks. I knew it was, that's like seven months. I knew it was going to take a while if we want something custom. So if I had to rank these stores for vintage, I loved the Renner Project. I feel like that's a place that I'm gonna visit frequently or just keep checking on their website for really unique pieces that are vintage, hopefully in around the time period that our house was built. Of course, Uncommon Objects was a great place to just go and find unusual pieces of smaller decor. And then on the newer side, I love back home furniture that we went to first. It had more of a lighter wood tone and a more French inspiration. Of course, I love our house, which is more organic and a little bit contemporary. Those stores are gonna be a great mix to really bring in some uniqueness and period correct, but also update pieces of furniture into the cottage. So it was a great first trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with us. Next week is my birthday on Wednesday. So I'm gonna be taking some time off, spending some time with family and just kind of like decompressing and of course getting ahead on the cottage. Got a lot of meetings, got contractors coming. So there won't be a new video next Sunday, but I will see you guys on Instagram at Exo McKenna. So come and follow me there. And of course on my vlog channel, there will be more vlogs coming every week. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week, two weeks and a wonderful weekend. And I will see you guys again in two Sundays. Sleep. Oh, she's she's sleeping. Bye guys. I win. <laughs> I tried to hold that. Good, good, good. Oh crap. No, no, no. <laughs> no I know. No, you gotta show them. I'm gonna start my weekend out right. I hate you. <laughs>